for the burial arrangements and funeral rite of Osinachi Mwachuku has been slated for 25th of June 2022 which is this month on the 25th and in this the husband's family we will not even be part of the planning or even attending it Osin Nachi Mwachiku's family has decided to return Osin Nachi Mwachiku's bride price even after she has gone yes they want to make sure that her marriage is dissolved even after she has gone they want to bury her as a divorcee even after she has gone today i will be sharing with you a shocking update on osi nachimwachiku's case as to her husband and from her family so sit down and let me give you and put you up to date with the happenings in the with the case against Peter Mwachiku Osi Nachi Mwachiku's husband and the family's shocking update with it. Hello and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Amazing Grace Daniel and you're welcome to Personalities and Places with me. And today I am going to be sharing with you everything and the shocking update and new update on the OC Nachi Mwachiko skills as regards her burial arrangement, her burial ceremony and the funeral updates going on. So sit down with me and let's talk this together. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, like this video and share a comment. OC Nachi Mwachiko's family has decided to return the bride price back to the husband's hometown and this move will imply a whole lot of things it will take certain effect on which i will be sharing with you first of all this move in returning the bride price yes is possible in the Igbo tradition which osinachi and her husband are from it's possible to return a bride price after the woman has gone and when the family of the woman returns the bride price it settles that the woman is divorced and that is it and that is how it is in the tradition it's a rare case it happens hardly but it happens and it's permitted let me know if this can be done in your own tradition which culture you're from and if it is possible for a woman's family to return her bride price in her absence when she is gone and dissolve a marriage and declare her unmarried no longer married so let me know if this particular um type of um, thing can ha is happening in your own culture just as it's happening in the Igbo culture tradition of where Osinachi Machiko and her husband Peter Machiko are both from this move of returning bride price and dissolving the marriage even in the absence of the woman that situation where the woman is late has certain effect and implications it carries and i'll be sharing with you what these implications are because they are not small implications of any kind they actually bring very very tough decisions that will be made in the process one of the effects of this act that the family of Osimi Nachin Wachuku is trying to achieve by returning the bride price is the fact that the husband and his family will not be attending the burial ceremony of Osi Nachin Wachuku or you know just in any case in situations like this the husband and the family of the late woman will not be attending once the bride price is returned they cannot attend they won't even be invited neither would they be represented by any member of the husband's family it is they have been banned abolished from coming for such woman's burial it is believed that since she, since she has been um, divorced he is uninvited or his family members uninvited from the burial uh, um, ceremony funeral they are not even supposed to attend it that is one of the effects of this act that Osin Nachi Wachiko's family 
wants to take. What's your take? Do you think it is right to stop the man who allegedly took the life of his wife through domestic violence from coming for him, the burial, or even if it's not him, at least other members of his family? Do you think it's nice? This move, do you, do you agree with it? Let me know in the comment section. Another effect of this act is that the woman will not be buried in her husband's compound or her husband's family compound. If you are not abreast with the Igbo tradition, in the Igbo tradition, when a woman is married, she is buried in her husband's compound when she finally passes on. Buried in her husband's compound or her husband's family compound. Okay? So, in this case, she will, that will not happen. Oh, no. In this case, where the bride price would be returned, that's what Usina Chiwan Chikuswami is trying to do. If they successfully return this bride price, then she will not be buried in his family compound. She will now be buried in her own father's family compound. So that is one of the implications, one of the effects, and this is one of the things that are the concerns of people with regards to the returning of the bride price. So now a husband loses and his family loses all rights to her body and assume that she never existed in his life. So she will now be buried like a single mother that either never got married or was in her father's house until she passed on. On the next part of the effect as to why Osinachi Wanchuku's family wants to return the bride price, this effect is going to be a very strong one. One of which I don't know if Osinachi Wanchuku would have been happy with if she had a say, considering the fact that she has passed on, is the removal of her name from all the funeral papers, documents, flyers, and handbills and boards. All her husband's name, the name Umwachuku, will no longer be on it. This is one thing that is putting a lot of people to question and react to it. So if for any reason the family finally they keep and they are granted to return the bride price as they wish to, then they wouldn't be putting that name Umwachuku. She will be bearing her maiden name, her father's name, for her burial ceremony. So you can imagine a situation where she won't be bearing Osinachi Machiko anymore. She will be bearing Osinachi, whoever her father's name is. And that is exactly what is going to happen if the family succeeds in getting what they want. What's your take on this? Do you agree it is very okay for such move, especially the fact that it's going to include the removal of her husband's name, the removal of the Umwachuku from the Osinachi. Do you think it is nice and it is okay and it's good to you? Considering the fact that a lot of us knew her by the name Osinachi Umwachuku, the Ekoeme Krona. Do you also think that it is fair to Osinachi Umwachuku because she wanted that marriage by all means. She wanted that marriage to work by all means. She wanted the name Umwachuku by all means first of all the name not appearing in her funeral and burial documents so what's your take because i am thinking osinachi wachuku might not want this she might not want the removal her name i mean if if for any reason for her children's sake her children are going to be in wachuku or her children not going to be in wachuku anymore so if her children are going to be in wachuku why can't they just at least not return this bride price so that this type of things will not take effect and cause so much implications on her burial. I mean, it's just a lot of drama already to add more. What is your take? What is your own opinion on this? Some of you might be asking, is this really necessary? Can't she just lay the woman to rest according to normal ways that go through all this process and stress for a woman who wanted to protect her marriage by all means? In the Igbo tradition, where a person is buried is very important. Where the person is laid to rest is an important factor for a typical Igbo man or Igbo woman. And in the Igbo culture, 
a typical Igbo man is meant to be buried in their family house even if the person is abroad or the person is living in the city or in a different state or in a different tribe the moment the person is gone the person is made to be brought back to its roots even if the person is in china is made to be brought back to its roots his hometown and buried in his family compound or father's family compound and it's seen that where the person is laid to rest is important so that the person can be laid to rest in peace it's seen that if a woman whose husband did not give her peace before uh, while she was alive if she is buried in that man's family compound or that man's compound it is believed by the Igbo tribe that she would not still have peace even after she has been gone so best is to bury her where she will have peace what is your take on this culture and tribe and tradition what's your take on the family's move to take on this particular option that the culture has provided let me know in the comment section some of you are asking what of peter and what you could, what is going on with him what has been done with him regarding this case a lot of people have been asking this question for those of you who don't know peter Mwachuk has been, since long been arrested reprimanded and kept in the Kuche prison oh god that's an, a big a tough place to be and kept in the Kuche prison and has been reprimanded by the federal government and been charged by the federal government on a 23 count charge one with the highest charge which is on charging him for culpable homicide aka charging someone for murder and the punishment for that is hanging losing your life through hanging and a lot of people have been questioning that is that not too harsh considering the fact that the children have already lost their mother are they not going to sit down and watch their father go so they're also going to be orphans these are questions people are asking what about life imprisonment why can't they charge him why can't they i mean a lot of questions have been people have been asking but the truth is the highest charge which is culpable homicide that is the punishment for it the punishment for it is not life imprisonment that's just the unfortunate part of it and so this is what peter Mochiku might go through if he is found guilty if he is found guilty now for interestingly enough it's not just that charge or that way two charges which include emotional physical abuse and aggravated assault amongst others he has been charged with which different punishments for that as well so for those of you who want to know if peter is going through a lot of stress already yes he is suffering he is going through a lot and i believe if he is guilty as alleged then what he's going through is nothing compared to what he has done already so yes the criminal case is going to soon commence shortly and we will definitely keep you posted i will keep you updated on what is happening with the osinachi and peter and Wachiko case one most important thing a lot of people are asking that people are what they want to know the very most important thing a lot of people are asking is the autopsy result that is the post-mortem result that was test that was conducted on osi nachi Wachiko's body a lot of people want to know what uh, is happen happening i mean the result is has been out a long time ago and yet we don't know the result if indeed she lost her life as a result of domestic violence as alleged by her family members and loved ones so a lot of people want to know is why is the federal government keeping this result why are they hiding it from the general public i mean the general public has been part of this case from the very day it started and the very day very day this news broke out her case has been public the public figures have been coming out to handle this case and most importantly the minister of women affairs who has sworn to make sure she sees through to the end that osi nachi wachuku gets justice even after she has passed on she has seen always been on this case since she met with the children and she saw and she heard the testimonies for the from the children and how their father maltreated their mother so bad so this woman has been on this case so for people like that to be involved we would like to know 
the, the, the result of the autopsy. A lot of people want to know and why the federal government hasn't told us the result of the autopsy. If we can know the result of this autopsy, it will say a whole lot to us and put certain, certain questions, certain observations, certain absorptions, certain things to rest. It will let us know the real truth. Trust me, it will. And I believe you too would want to know. Especially with the fact that Osi Nachi Machiko herself was a public figure. So we are hoping and we are waiting that the federal government needs to at least try and let us know, you know, the autopsy result. I cannot overemphasize on the importance of this autopsy result. It is too important. It is too important for the public to know so that a lot of us can rest because there's so many speculations out there as to what caused her to pass on. And so this autopsy result will make us know for how long, how far. I mean, if people and things like the Dowen College uh, situation, which the autopsy result was um, um, brought out public, the situation with the uh, the, the boy, you know, how come Osin Nachimachiko's own is not yet public? This is a case a lot of people want to know, and I believe the federal government should do justice by releasing it. What's your take on this case? So for those of you who want to know what's happening in the court, what's happening with, you know, Peter Amachiko, I'll keep you updated and more. So just, just sit down and continue to watch and like, subscribe and comment on this channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us with me on Personalities and Places with Amazing Grace Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video.